change the speed of the video. Click on the video and then the right mouse button. Then select change clip speed. This menu will appear. Click on the speedometer and change it to the value you want. Then press change. Go to an inspector, then file, and you will notice that the number of video frames is 30. This violates the slowdown rules, as the video speed has been reduced to 20 frames, even though the video is 30 frames per second. And the rule for changing the video speed says, if the number of video frames is from 24 to 30 frames per second, the speed should not be reduced to less than 60. If the number of video frames is 60 frames per second, you can reduce the speed to 40. And if the number of frames is higher than 60 frames per second, you can change the speed to less than 40, and because I set the speed to 20 on a video whose number of frames is 30, the problem of cutting the video appears here, as you notice, but with Depensai Resolve we can solve this problem simply. We go down at the Retime and Scaling, then Retime the process and choose an optical flow, then we go to Motion Estimation and choose Enhanced Better, and we will see that the slow motion has become smooth without cutting in the video. Good. But how can we slow down a certain part of the video and speed up the other part? Click on the video, right click, and select Retime Control. I will choose the part that slows it down, and let it be here. Then click on the black inverted triangle below this and choose Add Speed Point as the starting point. Then repeat the process to choose the end point, and be here. Then start changing clip speeds between points by clicking on the black triangle and choosing change speed. Then I repeat the process with the second syllable and I'll choose 25. And the last syllable to be 100. Now let's see the process of change. We notice that the transition from fast to slow is not smooth, so we'll do the transition smoothing process by clicking on it. Right the mouse button and select Retime Curve. It will show us two change points as you can see. Go to this inverted white arrow and click on it to choose to Retime Speed. Then we click on the point until it changes color and go higher to choose the curve and this shape will appear so you can adjust the degree of curvature and its smoothness as you want. Thus, the process was completed successfully, and for the success to continue, do not forget to subscribe to the channel so that we can learn together more about the DaVinci Resolve program. Goodbye in the next episode, creators.